Good morning. I'm meteorologist Kevin Smith at the National Weather Service in Pocatello. Hey, welcome to May. This is your Eastern Idaho planning briefing for Friday, May 1st, 2020. Severe weather is out of the area. We had quite the day yesterday across southeast Idaho with some hail, some strong winds in a few locations, even issued a few tornado warnings. Luckily, haven't heard any major reports of, of damage or confirmed tornadoes. Uh, probably one of the uh, best images or, or uh, highlights of the day was actually right here near the office on our office webcam looking to the north and west. Captured this image of a Gus NATO out near American Falls Reservoir. And you can see that with my pointer here uh, right out on the horizon. This isn't an organized tornado, so it's not... A, a, a tornado that's attached to the updraft of the thunderstorm and capable of really doing a lot of damage. Uh, these little gust nados and spin ops, this is right on the edge of a, a line of thunderstorms that was moving into the area. These are more due to a little turbulence and wind eddies on the leading edge of that activity. And you can see some uh, water or dust being kicked up here as well, just off to the right. So nice image there from the office. Uh, if anyone out there did see any large hail, wind damage, anything like that, and you haven't told us about it yet, we'll have our contact information again at the end of the briefing and we do want to know about that uh, for documenting the event and warning verification purposes. So looking ahead, lower impact weather over the next several days. Not zero impact. We have a few things to talk about, but certainly not expecting any uh, high impact severe weather uh, for the next several days. Some patchy frost possible Saturday morning north and west of Idaho Falls. We'll show you that. Another round of some isolated thunderstorms Saturday afternoon, and they're not currently expected to be severe. Current satellite image this morning, you can see just a little bit of moisture and cloud cover inching in here to southern portions of Idaho. This is mostly just some mid-level clouds might see a stray sprinkle out of it. There's actually a little disturbance that you can't see on this image that's off here toward the coast and toward Northern California that may produce a light shower later today. And we have a low pressure system that I've delineated here with the red L. Uh, this system, you can see the spin here on the water vapor loop. This system is gonna slowly approach the Western coast of Canada and it's going to provide the trigger for those thunderstorms on Saturday afternoon. Weather impact overview. Let's go through the matrix here one day at a time. It's going to look a little different from what we showed you the past few days due to some changes in the forecast. So today, few light showers possible, southern and eastern highlands, but most of us clearing out and dry for today. Uh, don't think we'll really have enough instability for thunderstorms either. Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms, a better chance of hit and miss activity across the entire forecast area. Again, maybe some patchy frost during the morning as well up to the north and west of Idaho Falls, and I'll show you that graphically here in a moment. Sunday and Monday, you see lots of question marks here. A uh, little bit of disagreement among the computer model guidance on exactly how this is going to play out. I think showers are possible on Sunday. We were kind of focusing on this day uh, in the past for our next impactful system. And again, a little bit of uh, model disagreement there, but some showers are possible. Uh, looks pretty stable. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of thunderstorm activity and breezy conditions kicking in for the Snake Plain and Magic Valley, also into portions of the eastern highlands. Monday, I've highlighted here some uh, windy conditions expected across the Snake Plain, the Magic Valley, into the southern hills and, and southeast highlands. That That'll be probably be the main impact of the day. This will be the coolest day of the forecast as well. And again, kind of some uncertainty about possible shower and thunderstorm activity across the region. We'll wrap up with Tuesday, a better chance of maybe some frost freeze conditions in the upper Snake Plain. And we have you highlighted there uh, for some impacts. So let's step through high temperatures today, much cooler. Uh, stark contrast to what we've seen over the past couple days. You can see here generally getting up into the 60s across southeast Idaho. Again, maybe a hit or miss afternoon shower down across the southern and eastern highlands, south and east of the main interstate corridors here, but elsewhere clearing and dry. Not a bad day at all. Low temperature Saturday morning. Quite cool, quite chilly out there if you're heading out. And you can see as we get north and west of Idaho Falls here, uh, there's some, some real estate where we may see lows approaching freezing uh, for a few hours during the morning just before and during sunrise. And for that reason, it's a little bit marginal, but for that reason, uh, we have gone ahead and issued a frost advisory for the areas highlighted here. Again, this isn't really going to affect the immediate Idaho Falls area. I would focus more toward the north or west. But if you're in the advisory area, it might not be a bad idea to try to protect any sensitive vegetation, cover those up, uh, bring plants inside where possible. 
High temperatures during the day tomorrow, a little bit better. We're getting into the mid-60s, even some 70s creeping back in here to the lower Snake Plain and eastern Magic Valley, the Raft River region, some of these valleys here to the south of I-86. Again, some afternoon hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. There is some instability, some fuel to work with, according to our models, but... Looking at all the parameters as a whole, not really expecting severe weather at this time. Maybe some small hail or gusty winds out of a stronger cell, and that's going to be about it. High temperatures on Sunday, <laughs> backing off, getting a little cooler again. Low confidence chance of some showers, as we discussed, and increasing uh, breeze during the afternoon. You can see here the Snake Plain in eastern Magic Valley, generally seeing sustained winds inching up to about 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. Higher gusts, this will be during the afternoon and evening hours. Currently not really expecting this to be uh, that impactful for your Sunday. Monday, coolest day in the forecast, only getting to about 49 or 50 here in Driggs. You can see some of those readings holding in the 50s, only low 60s down here in our normally warmer locales in the Lower Snake Plain and Eastern Magic Valley. Again, low confidence chance of some showers or some thunderstorms across the region again Monday. And this will be our windy day. So this is our current forecast. You can see southern portions of the forecast area. Pretty impressive. Uh, sustained winds 20 to 30 miles an hour possible particularly right here near Pocatello and American Falls. Throw the wind gusts on there, may see some gusts of 30 to 45 miles per hour. So this will be a day we'll be watching to see how this forecast evolves, see if we have issues for CHOP on American Falls Reservoir, difficult driving for high-profile vehicles, blowing dust, etc. So stay tuned. Low temperatures Tuesday morning, uh, much colder readings. And again, you can see readings here in the upper snake, possibly near or below freezing. So depending on what the cloud cover is doing, depending on any shower activity out there. Uh, we'll have to watch this for possible frost freeze conditions for agriculture. Tis the season. We're melting off that high elevation snow still, and we're going to be monitoring hydro. Let's check just a few gauges here. Uh, we have canceled all of our alerts. We have no flood warnings or flood advisories in effect anymore, so that's good news. Uh, Blackfoot River was one of those locations here near the reservoir, and you can see yellow zone here is bank full conditions or action stage, and then uh, minor flood stage is the orange zone. And we've been right near bank full over the past several days, maybe trending down just a little bit. A little bit of seepage possible but not seeing any impacts or major issues there. Willow Creek, up to the south of Ryrie, below Tex Creek. Another location where we had a warning in effect previously, but it is gone. Uh, daily wiggle continues here on the water level, but it's running right near Bankful with no major impacts. Continuing to watch the Henry's Fork, as we've talked about the past couple days, the blue line, what the water level's been doing the past few days, and then the dotted line is the forecast. You can see it rising right to near that yellow level, that, that Bankful stage projected for some time this weekend. So not expecting any significant flooding, as you can see here, that's good news, but our eyes are gonna be on it and we'll see how that water level responds uh, to inflows further upstream. Snake River, this is near High Sea. You can also look at the Lorenzo gauge uh, running right around Bankful. We're in that Bankful or action stage. No alerts in effect right now. This is pretty controlled. This is really a, a, a tug, uh, a pull and tug or a give and take between releases out of Palisades Reservoir and then how much of that water we're siphoning off for irrigation and agriculture. So we're, we're keeping an eye on it, but no major issues currently. One change in the forecast, we saw enough rainfall up in the Central Mountains yesterday during our severe weather. We're going to see a little blip here forecast for the Bigwood River at Haley. You can already see that uh, water level going up a little bit. Um, maybe getting near Bankful here sometime today and then relaxing again. And finally, continuing to watch Mackey Reservoir, uh, maybe filling over the next week or so, but currently not expecting flood issues downstream. That's it for your hazard briefing this morning. Again, if you have any questions, as usual, please reach out. Our contact information is here as well for anyone who has any damage or hail reports from Thursday's severe weather. Have a great day.